Hello and welcome to this series of tutorials on programming computational fluid dynamics. Today we will be looking at a very interesting topic related to reconstruction of higher order methods which is WENO or weighted essentially non-oscillatory schemes. So in case of WENO for reconstructing the distribution in cell I a set of substances are used. The substances are chosen such that they have at least one cell as I and they will be having other cells which are contiguous that is one besides each other. For example, I cannot have a substance uh, made up of I minus 2 and I and I plus 2. So they should be one besides each other. So uh, if we form such substances for say um, I mean of size say 3 then I will have 3 such substances. So these are the 3 substances which I get for of size 3. Now this size 3 is the minimum order of accuracy which you will get in WENO method and the maximum accuracy what we can get or the maximum order of accuracy what we can get will be equivalent to the total number of cells which form by combining the cells for example in this case it is 5 this particular method which you will get after uh, reconstructing using this 5 stencils or this 3 set of substances will be called fifth order WNO that is we will get a order of 5 after combining this three substances and this order of 5 will be in case of smooth regions however uh, in case of discontinuities particular stencils will be knocked off by applying so called weights such that we will get a lower order for example say we have a very smooth distribution in this four four cells uh, say it's a very smooth sine wave and then we have a discontinuity here and this particular cell is very different from this four cells in such a case stencil 3 will be discarded by applying a very low weight and very high weights will be applied to substantial 1 and substantial 2 such that we get a higher order method which is uh, not uh, fifth order but uh, of a lower order however the minimum order that is guaranteed is order 3 because the, uh, the smallest substance is of size 3 well so the basic idea is to choose this substance and then apply weights to each of them depending on the smoothness within each of the substances and finally uh, reconstructing the solution within this uh, required uh, cell by choosing a combination of these three uh, substances or uh, the reconstruction done by using these three substances that's the whole idea so this weights which I have been talking about comprise of two uh, separate weights that is the linear weights and the nonlinear weights and the linear weights are dependent on the uh, distribution of this points that is the geometry of the cells and the nonlinear weights are dependent on the uh, on the smoothness uh, well I, I i should correct that a little bit basically the nonlinear weights are uh, dependent on the smoothness as well as the linear weights so uh, let me reiterate the whole thing again so for reconstruction of cell i we use three substances in this case because we are interested in weno5 which requires three substances of size 3 each so to reconstruct i uh, cell we will be applying weights to each of these substances and these weights will comprise of linear weights which are dependent on the geometry and the smoothness coefficient which is dependent on the uh, distribution of the variable within each of these substances. So 
eventually we will uh, get weights which are multiplied to the reconstructed values of each of this substantial and that will give us the reconstructed value or reconstructed function within this particular cell. This uh, topic of WENO is covered in many research papers and it is very easy to find it on internet. So I'll request you to go to any of uh, these papers and read it in much more detail. I do not want to spend a lot of time on the theory part because you can easily read it up uh, over the internet or many of these papers which are available. One of the very good papers which I, I'll be referring to and I have referred for writing this code is this particular paper from Chi Wang Shu which is a very famous paper in this particular field and I have uh, implemented this weighted essentially non-oscillatory scheme which is basically an extension of essentially non-oscillatory schemes. So I request you all to go through that particular paper and understand this weighted essentially non-oscillatory schemes in much more detail. So let us go ahead and try to code this method now. All right, so let's now start uh, coding this method, which we have been looking now. To make the things very simple, what I have done is I have gone ahead and programmed a library for WENO. So to use this library, you just have to import this library uh, into NetBeans or whichever IDE that you are using. If you are not using any IDE and directly say coding it into any uh, any of the editor text editors then also it is very easy to use. You have to just use minus cp flag to include this library while, while compilation and again while running this code. So in if you are using an IDE it is normally very simple just you have to add this library. Uh, in NetBeans, you have to just right click and select the location where this library is placed. I will be uploading this uh, uh, jar file on the internet and I will be sharing the link in the description. So please go through this link, go to this link and download this library and you can straight away you use it. So you have to just uh, select this library and click open. Once you do this, you are ready to use the functionality right out of the box okay so i have just implemented this case extra another case called wnu so i have just uh, added this particular reconstruction types called wnu here and then i defined this particular case so let us look at what has been done here so from the library that um, i just talked about i have uh, included I mean I have used this particular class called WENO and inside that there is a function called get WENO reconstructed values it returns a object of type reconstructed values and uh, this particular object has got two uh, variables value i minus half and value i plus half which can directly be used to calculate u west and u east right so it's pretty straightforward to use now in this method there are two arguments to be passed one is average values and the other one is k k is the size of the substances and the average values are the values in the neighborhood of i <clears throat> now uh, since for uh, for k equal to 3 or as a matter of fact for any k the number of neighbor cells that will be required will be k minus 1 so we have populated this uh, average values from minus neighbors neighboring cells to plus neighboring cells from the uh, array of cells which we have and that gives us the average values once they are populated we can pass it through this particular method and it returns this two values straight away which can be used in our uh, in the code uh, now the way in which this is implemented uh, is exactly how it has been uh, shown in this particular paper uh, as a matter of fact in this paper they have defined some constants which uh, are specific to 
particular uh, amount i mean particular k the way in which however this method is implemented is in a very generalized way that is you can simply choose any k uh, any size of the substantial and it will uh, automatically calculate all the required weights for you uh, in wno and it will uh, do the reconstruction and return this i minus half and i plus half let us do some experimentation let us start with say k equal to 2 so k equal to 2 will uh, give us w e n o of order 5 uh, sorry of order 3 so let me run this and uh, this should uh, do the reconstruction with order 3 and if i run this plotting code it must do the plotting work and it should give me this results so if you compare this results this is at starting point 0 and this is the final result at time 2 you uh, will observe that these results are better than the earlier results which we got with the limited case uh, may this may not be visually so uh, so much good but uh, if you do the order of accuracy analysis you must certainly get an order of 3 so the error should should have been reduced here well you can do the order of accuracy i will not be doing this order of accuracy here just to save time it's very easy to do since i have already talked about it earlier if k is equal to 3 then we should get get fifth order wno uh, well in this case it will not be fifth order because we have a discontinuity as i talked about earlier if there is a discontinuity we might not get fifth order we will get a lower order accuracy so if k is equal to 3 then uh, it will be equivalent to wno fifth order if i run this then it should create those files and i should be able to get the results you can clearly see that this is much less diffused compared to weno3 so well we can easily see it visually as well However, if you do order of accuracy analysis, you should be able to now see uh, that the order drop, I mean, order increases to uh, 5 and also the error would have substantially reduced. Uh, if I choose even higher order, you will see that this error will keep on, I mean, the error, uh, the results will keep on improving. Uh, so that was all about WNO. You can do these all experiments by using this library. Uh, that is WNO library which I will be uploading and I will be uh, putting the link in description so make sure to use this library as much as you want do all kind of experimentations and if you are interested uh, go ahead learn this method weighted essentially non oscillatory method it is a very nice method and uh, most of the codes that use uh, uh, this uh, higher order reconstruction especially which is required for large eddy simulation and direct numerical simulation kind of calculations in such cases wno is extensively used and if you are interested in cfd you must certainly look into wno in a much more detail okay so this is going to be the last uh, last video in this series for one dimensional uh, codes uh, now we will go to 2d and i'll most probably start with a new series here on youtube so uh, we will start with 2d now with scalar problems with scalar advection equations as of now uh, and then my plan for the future is that i'll be then going to i'll be continuing with a cartesian mesh but i'll go to euler equations and uh, yeah let's see how far we go and how can we go ahead okay so thank you so much for watching uh, keep your uh, give me your feedback and write your comments in the comment section as to how do you like these videos or do you need some changes to be made in the way in which it is presented or and so on and so forth because i'll be starting now with uh, 2d uh, codes so 
Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.